Hi everyone, Susie here with another process video. Today I'm doing a, an Easter layout and I'm starting by adhering my um, grid. I have two, two Easter photos and a little um, cluster embellishment that I made using some paper tray ink stamp sets. And now I'm going to take out another stamp set from the ton. It's the sunflower stamp set. And for this I'm using my Misty because it's a layered stamp set. There are actually three layers to each of the sunflowers. And I'm not doing the stems, I'm just doing the main sunflowers themselves to use as part of embellishment clusters. And I'm not going to show you all three steps of each of the stamps. And there they are, the stamps and the stamp set from the tum. They're really pretty stamps. If you haven't checked them out, I would check them out. And now I'm going to use, um, I'm going to layer the, um, the one matte collage that I started with. I'm going to layer it on some very, very old Daisy D paper. I love the vintage um, farm look of this paper. Even though I'm covering most of it up, it's going to bring out most of the colors that I want to have in this. In this layout, there's some dark blues and the yellow that I'm using. And um, yeah, so I'm just trimming it down to just, oh, probably just a little less than a quarter of an inch and adhering it. And now I'm adhering a, probably two thirds of it to a blue and white polka dot paper using my ATG gun. And I'm also going to leave about a quarter of an inch um, border with that blue and white polka dot. Yeah, it's not exactly Easter season right now, but um, I'm just trying to go through my photos and I just pull out the photos I want to scrapbook and these were just um, kind of on the top of my stack and I had this paper sitting here and I thought ooh, that I would just go ahead and go for it. And now I'm using some, I think this is Doodlebug, it's cute little um, chicky paper. And you'll see me adhering it to the one third of a border that's left on the right hand side using the same um, border size, obviously about a quarter of an inch. And now I'm just um, messing with the sunflowers that I die cut, trying to place them. And I'm using a Project Life card here. And I've decided that I'm, I have this um, stamp set from Paper Tray Ink. Uh, I think it's called, um, let's see, Bunny Basket, yeah. And I stamped this bunny, it looks like a Peeps bunny, on it. And then I'm going to go ahead and heat emboss it with some white embossing powder. And I just use, um, these are large um, cupcake liners that I use to um, pour my uh, remaining embossing powder in it. And then I wanted to get a little bit of gold embossing powder on the bottom and I tried that it didn't really work and so I go ahead and I use uh, oh a wink of Stella gold pen and add that to the to the bottom of the bunny and then I stamped a happy Easter sentiment on that and that is from paper tray ink monthly moments and now I'm just trimming that piece up um, from the Project Life card. And I went ahead and you'll see I, I rounded the corners at the top. And then I split the two pieces and put the bottom half of the card on the bottom so that it kind of uh, mirrored on either side of the plank of photos. There I've trimmed, I have rounded the corners. And I also added a little tiny um, bunny beside the Happy Easter and also added some Wink of Stella to that. And now I'm looking for some other embellishments and I've I tried some um, 
flare buttons and I didn't really have the right shade of yellow and so I'm going through my stamps and I ran out or my camera kept quitting so I missed the part of the things that I did which were, were to adhere some fancy pants um, enamel hearts in that bright shade of blue and some yellow enamel dots and I left it pretty simple and then when I was completely done I uh, the first pictures you see I had not adhered a solid navy blue background but I thought the white needed a little bit of contrast so I went ahead and gutted a piece of navy basil and in these pictures you can see the out the border of the navy blue and I think it just added that really nice finishing touch anyway thank you for stopping by I hope you enjoyed this video I didn't realize it was so short but anyway hope you have a good day and I will see you next time